If you haven't already, please subscribe, hit that like button, and turn on notifications for news that you might have missed. New subject. After the terrible mass shootings over the last two weeks, President Biden has made it clear, and, and Democrats have made it clear, there's going to be a new push for gun legislation. Here was your reaction to that, along with the reaction from Vice President Harris. Every time there's a tragic shooting in this country, the left uses it as a reason to grab a gun of a lawful gun owner. Stop pushing the false choice mm -hmm. that this means everybody's trying to come after your guns. That is not what yeah. we're talking about. Senator, first of all, the two bills that the House has passed, the Senate is now considering have to do with background checks. They wouldn't to take away your guns. And what's wrong with a serious debate after all of these shootings about assault weapons, and especially about large capacity magazines, which a lot of studies show contribute to these mass killings. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong about debate. As a matter of fact, I would challenge uh, Senator Schumer to bring the assault weapons ban to the floor of the United States Senate. It won't get 50 votes, much less 60. I own an AR-15. If there's a natural disaster uh, in South Carolina where the cops can't protect my neighborhood, my house will be the last one that the gang will come to because I can defend myself. Uh, you don't have to have an AR-15, but if you, if you have one lawfully, I think you should be allowed to keep it. Most of these problems have, uh, have a lot to do with mental health. Count me in for addressing that issue. Red flag laws exist in 19 states. There's some things we can do, but at the end of the day, if you think uh, an assault weapons ban is what the country needs, bring it to the floor of the United States Senate and vote on it. I welcome that debate. Well, uh, let me ask you about. Let me ask you about that, Senator. I got about a minute left. You are pushing a red okay. flag bill, and the idea would be if you've been adjudicated as being a danger to yourself or other people, then they could take away your gun. But as you know, there are some gun rights group or gun rights groups that right. disagree with that and say that you're doing away with people's yeah, due process. And I guess that's the question: yeah. is it, it seems like there's no possibility for any reform. Well, I think there is. There's a million people who have been adjudicated a danger to themselves or others at state court levels, and the adjudications are not in the background system. Alice Bolton was a person that was found not guilty by reason of insanity of trying to threaten President Bush. Uh, her adjudication was not in the background system. She bought a gun and tried to kill people at a local school. I think most people would like to have these adjudications into the system. And any red flag law has to have ample and uh, robust due process. So count me in for dealing with the mental health aspects of this. Count me in for trying to have common sense background checks to get the best information into the system. And if you fail a background check, count me in for telling the local cops that the individual failed it. But, uh, uh, you know, assault weapons ban, bring it up, let's vote on it. Senator Graham, thank you. Thanks for joining us. Share, like, and subscribe.